you know, is that what resilience is, Nirja? Is it a choice? Is it allowing our experiences to kind of enable this personal growth? Absolutely. Um, you know, I call it the choice point. When are we going to be ready to make that choice, as your counselor said, to shift gears from bitter to better? And it's not even bitter or better. Mm. It's both and. Mm. And I, I think, I mean, I always have this piece of string with me because I need to explain it in a way that'll be an image that sets into our heart. Uh, polarity is bitter is better mm -hmm. or better is better. Mm -hmm. But when you bring it together, the unity of that divide is that bitter is what makes us better. Mm. It can't be either or, it's both and. When you start to build the pieces together, that's resilience. How can we be grateful to that challenge that has opened our hearts? It has invited a new way of thinking. It's given us a gift. Mm -hmm. After we overcome that bitterness, we start to see the gift, the silver lining. Um, on how, what are we doing it, with it? So I go back and change anything, any adversity in my life? No. Mm -hmm. And at the time, would I want to take it on? No. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Uncertainty is the only certainty. Um, mm -hmm. And it is our desire to control the outcome um, that makes us feel very attached to a outcome, like I want to control something. And that level of attachment, that control creates resistance, takes us mm -hmm. away from resilience. We're not okay. open. We're not open to what is. We don't trust the intelligence. We're not trusting any of that. We're not able to tap into our wisdom because we are very fixated in controlling the outcome and then there is this judgment of good or bad. What if something bad happens? Mm -hmm. What if something bad happens? How do you define bad? Mm -hmm. When we don't even, so I, I think the biggest invitation, best, but we don't realize our heart has the capacity to transform the suffering. Mm -hmm. We rarely bring um, the stories to our heart. Mm -hmm. We rarely bring it to the heart. We we are sort of addicted to going into the story of being a victim mm -hmm. or a persecutor uh, or a rescuer. We want to rescue or, you know, whatever the story is that is strong for us, mm -hmm. it grows stronger. So the more we get into the thinking mind, mm -hmm. the more it's going to keep us stuck in the messy. You see yeah. the dichotomy that, so there's such a divide in us. So remember, I, the one thing we can remember is that we are wired by nature, mm -hmm. but we can rewire ourselves mm -hmm. by nurture. Mm -hmm. So if, you, if your friend comes to you and says, I'm feeling guilt and shame, would you allow her to be in it for a long time? Mm -hmm. You wouldn't. You wouldn't allow your friend to do it, but you are allowing yourself to wallow in it. And when I'm saying you, I'm saying it because I do the same thing. Right. Yeah. But the learning is how can I nurture myself? How can I look at myself with love and compassion mm -hmm. um, at my being to unwire that? So, yes, the brain is. So, if you they do convert us into something more profound, more wise, more beautiful. Mm -hmm. And it's all to let go of these, the army of beliefs, the limiting beliefs and assumptions that are not serving us. So it's not this bad experience that makes us become aware that we're not enough or we're bad. It was mm -hmm. already there before is to build your muscle of mm -hmm. that choice point. Build mm -hmm. that muscle. What am I going to choose right now? Am I going to look at life with a camera of what's wrong? Mm -hmm. Or am I going to look at life with a camera of what's right? So is life circumstances. It's breaking our ego. It's making us, it's actually converting 
transforming us into something magnificent. Mm -hmm. um, so a wait for that magnificence to arrive inside of you. Um, write your gratitudes. Look for what's working. Look for mm -hmm. who's around you. Mm -hmm. And don't make one aspect of your life because there's so many things in your life. Right. You especially, because without you, your life would not exist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what is it that you can do every morning? Creek. Again, a beautiful question here. So as leaders, the light is on us, right? The, the light mm -hmm. is being, we're, we're in the spotlight. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. And people are looking to us for that encouragement. People are looking to us as leaders for, to show them the way, mm -hmm. to model the way. And if we don't know how to pick ourselves up every morning and be vulnerable, because remember, vulnerability will open up that shield. Mm -hmm. um, you don't want to let you to create a separation between you and the people you're leading. Uh, but can you be vulnerable? Well, today, you know what? I'm really raw. I'm feeling the pain. How can you lead um, in a way? Make it real, make it vulnerable, be transparent, and also know that we life is dynamic. It's not static. Mm -hmm. Nothing, nothing, good, bad, or the ugly lasts forever. How can I live in this moment and experience life fully, go into it fully, the experience, no matter what is going on around us, knowing that this too shall pass. Mm -hmm. I think having that undying, again, your leaders, it's so critical to be resilient. You have to go within and listen to that inner voice that gets shut down with so much of our doing. Mm -hmm. it, so we have to fill our, like, you know, you're sipping uh, from this ocean of restfulness. That's what you want to sip from. Mm -hmm. There is a quote, when the winds of change rage, and this is change, right? It creates a lot of change. Some seek shelter while others build windmills. As leaders, mm -hmm. you're building windmills. You're turning this experience into a windmill of energy and bringing that energy for your followers. So what are you going to choose? Back to the choice point where we started. Through the sorrow with you too, so you can move through it and never be stuck. Mm -hmm. Stuck is not sustainable. You're never stuck. You are moving, but move with awareness. Mm. Don't go unconscious through the pain because that pain is a teacher and it's teaching us so much wisdom that we can't learn even in the best universe.